guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, and today we are baking cookies. It is the week of Christmas, and I thought to myself, what better way to spend the week before Christmas baking cookies in an ugly Christmas sweater? So that is what we are doing today. Make sure that you guys do subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and without further ado, let's head down to the kitchen and bake some cookies. Here we are in my kitchen, and I got this really cute Christmas cookie thing at TJ Maxx that actually came with a gingerbread mix in it and like this little bag, and then this was on it. It comes with directions. It came with like a little cookie thing. So that is what we are doing today. Um, first things first, it obviously just says to like put your dough and stuff into the mixing bowl, so that's what we're going to do. It does require six tablespoons of butter, an egg, and then a tablespoon of water. I should cut this. I should cut this. Oh. Okay, I'm just cutting butter, guys. I'm not... This is nothing fancy, and you're definitely not getting any. Six tablespoons of butter in there. Let's do a tablespoon of water, tablespoon of water, and then let me grab the egg. Should I have preheated my oven? I probably should have preheated it. What am I supposed to preheat this to? So let's get this on here. Get that in there. Lock it. Let's start mixing her up. This is not mixing. Let's just call it what it is. This is definitely not. It's like maybe I'm just like that is like crumbly, right? Like that. I guess we'll just let her mix and see what happens. We're just gonna do this by hand at this point because I feel like the, the KitchenAid is just not working. I'm gonna just empty this out onto the counter. And yes, I did clean my counters before I did this because that is disgusting. Either I just really suck at this or this is just a bad recipe, you know? I feel like gingerbread's supposed to be darker. Is the batter supposed to be darker? This sweater was a bad idea. I don't know why I decided to do these types of videos and I'm just not good at them. I just don't feel like there is enough liquid in here. Over here thinking it's gonna be all cute. We're gonna get some cute gingerbread out of it. Like, how am I supposed to get I mean, I guess I could do it like this, right? Oh no, it's like broke off. Okay, well we got one. That is way too thick. I mean, whatever. Okay, we got gingerbread number two. I don't think I'm doing this right. I don't think I'm doing this right at all. Also, I am like literally out of breath doing this. So I would recommend this if you are not in the mood for a workout. Also, did anybody finish the last episode of The Mandalorian? Because I don't know about you, but I am like really upset. I don't feel like... I don't feel like I'm gonna have a good year with how that, that episode ended. I mean, obviously spoilers, so if you're watching it and you don't want me to spoil your your Mandalorian experience, obviously stop watching, but y'all really had to make us go into 2021 all depressed that Mando doesn't have his baby anymore. I just feel bad, and I also really, really love Pedro Pascal. I think he's like literally one of the best people that you could have picked for that part. I know a lot of people kind of said that he was more of like a I want to show my face type of actor which I can understand but when you take on a a role as a person that doesn't take off their helmet I just feel like beggars can't be choosers at that point but I completely understand I mean when you're an actor you want to be able to show your emotions and but I'm also just kind of like playing devil's advocate here in the sense that if you picked a part that doesn't doesn't show the face. I feel like there's an easier way to do this. Um, considering we only have nine, I may only make a dozen and call it good. Because this is, this is too much work. Okay, how many do we have? Oh my god, his whole head fell off! No! That one doesn't have a head. If we get down to like the last like little bit of this dough, and then it starts acting like a dough, I'm gonna be pissed. So then all of our lovely gingerbread are gonna go into the oven. So we're gonna put those in the oven for... 12 minutes, we'll check on them in a little bit. And then while that's going, I have another mix. This is going to be the oatmeal chocolate chip. This is one egg and one stick of butter. I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave that. I don't really care. Grab a stick of butter. I feel like normally I'm not really the type of person 
like I feel like when I'm doing makeup, I feel like I have more to talk about than when I'm not doing makeup. And I think it's just because I'm truly not like the most comfortable on camera yet, which I think is totally fine. I think that, um, I think it just takes a lot for people to really get like okay with being on camera. I just think that it's, it's just not everybody warms up so, so quickly to it. I feel like I've gotten better. For some reason my camera decided to stop Recording. But anyways, melon ballers, you know, whatever. I don't know what else to say. Also, I can already smell those gingerbread cookies. So we got about three minutes left on that timer. Once the gingerbread cookies are done, I will come back once they're a little bit more cool because I have all of this dough still left to put on here. I'm going to cook this. And then once the cookies are a little bit more cool, I will come back. We can decorate them together. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. So it has been about, I don't know, an hour later. This is what the gingerbread look like. They are super cute, but I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be darker. I didn't realize how much my camera actually missed when I was recording. Like it missed a lot. Like a lot. Mostly I was just talking about my gingerbread cookies, which you guys didn't see, but I tried to make cookies, chocolate chip cookies out of gingerbread. It didn't work, clearly. And then I was talking about melon ballers. So if it's confusing, it's confusing for me too. I got this cookie icing from Target and it said I needed to put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, which I feel like is a long time. So I have a feeling this is gonna come out super runny, but I could be wrong. So it came out super runny, but that's fine. We're fine. It'll be okay. And then I got these sprinkles also from TJ Maxx. So we'll see how they taste. Well, I mean, sprinkles are, they always are gonna taste good, but we gotta see how these cookies taste. Oh my God, it's so cute. I know you guys can't really like see it. Like, look how cute that is. Let's try it. So again, I got this at TJ Maxx, so if it's gross. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not good either. That's a big question mark on that. Big, big question mark. Let's just keep decorating. I think this is the frosting that you're supposed to be able to like fill in the cookie with. Do you know what I mean? You've seen, you've seen the Instagram videos where they like fill in the cookie with the, the icing that does this. You know, I think I'm just going to have to do it like this where I just fill in the whole cookie. That way, when you eat this, gotta go in with low expectations with this kind of stuff. These cookies really aren't good. I was expecting more of like a spiciness to them, but again, I guess that's what you get for buying cookies from TJ Maxx. This is how these little guys turned out. And again, these, the frosting and sprinkles, well, the frosting's from Target and the sprinkles are from TJ Maxx, which I mean, you can't really mess up sprinkles. The cookies just, I mean, let me try another one. The cookies just aren't good. They're just not. The frosting definitely helps, but they're still not good, so. That is basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you guys do have a safe and COVID-friendly Christmas, and I will see you guys next Sunday for another upload. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.